In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to film with a glide cam for low shots. And if you stick to the end, I'm going to give you some tips on how to make sure you stay in focus with the subject while moving. All right, so I have with me the Devin Graham Signature Glide Cam, and this is already balanced for filming regularly. Uh, however, we're gonna be filming um, upside down. So if you haven't yet, I highly recommend you check my last video, the tutorial on how to balance this Glide Cam. The link is down below in the description. So right now it's balanced but I wanna make sure that it's balanced for filming upside down. So the good thing is I can release this uh, handle and slide it down to the position that I want it to. This takes a little trial and error uh, until you find the spot that you, would, that you want it to be at. So I slid it down there and I do the three second drop test and I wanna make sure that since we're filming upside down, it's top heavy for doing this test. So I'm focusing on this side, one and two and three and, perfect. Okay, good. So now as you can see, it's balanced for filming upside down. So the next step is basically uh, gripping it. How, how do you hold the glide cam? I like to hold it like this, where I have three fingers right here in front and then my thumb right here in the back and I'm gripping the handle like this. I just found this to be more, um, to be easier to, to hold and to um, basically control rather than like this, like this, like this. So I use this grip. All right, so once you have the grip set, now is your stance. If you stand like this and you're walking, you don't have any control. You're, you're too far forward, you can't see um, where you're going, it's hard to look at the subject um, or have control of the glide cam. So what I recommend is getting in athletic stance in the squat position, making sure the, the glide cam is a little bit in front of you and that way you can look up if there's any obstacles um, and then you can also make sure that your glide cam is in control. So as you can see, walking backwards, walking forwards, moving around, the glide cam is pretty much level as you're walking. I like to keep a good grip, not too tight, but enough to make sure that it's controlled and make sure I'm guiding it. When you're filming upside down, it's kind of hard to see the screen. Uh, however, what I usually do when I'm filming manually, I highly, rec I highly recommend uh, filming manually uh, rather than filming with autofocus. Um, so what I do is, in relation to the subject, let's say we're doing a walking scene and I, I wanna follow the subject from behind to get their feet. So what I do is, I go zoom in on the subject to whatever relation. Let's say he's three feet in front of me. I zoom in on them, get them in focus, and then I zoom out. So that way I know that they're always in focus, but I have to stay in that relation to them. I have to stay within that three feet range as I'm walking with them. So that helps uh, when I'm filming upside down, I can't see the screen. Let's say you're in a run and gun situation and you have to make sure that everything is in focus and you don't have to worry about looking at your screen. So those are my tips on filming upside down with the glide cam. If you found this helpful, like, comment, and subscribe, and also comment down below what you want to see next in terms of tutorials. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.